everybody. Welcome to Sailing Doodle. I'm Bobby. This is the Maverick and Goose. Thanks for joining us on our journey as we sail around the world. Uh, so in this episode, we're hitting the boat uh, survey. That's like a, 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 an inspection. There's a lot of good stuff in there about the boat and about sailing down the Caribbean and then uh, about taking dogs with you. So enjoy the video. If you do, please really subscribe. It really helps out and like it. And uh, thanks for joining us. All right, it's a little after sun. Well, sun's not quite up yet. It's seven-ish in the morning here at uh, Kima at the marina to do the inspection on the boat. Been inside already. The guy was here at like six in the morning. Seems pretty knowledgeable. So uh, I'll kind of touch base with him later and hopefully he can give us some good insight whether it's a good boat. But so far, so good. He hadn't found anything wrong. Just another uh, valve or two in the water line, but that's super easy fixes. All the electricals look good. Uh, and my glasses are fogging up because it's so humid out here. Welcome to Houston. Um, but I think I'll show you a little bit around the boat, show you all the electronics on it, show you everything that works, um, and uh, enjoy. It's got a Garmin chart plotter, which is always nice in the old school whiskey compass there. There's your engine controls there and there. This right here is a pretty nice little autopilot. It'll sync to, um, to the navigation and all that, or you can just do a heading. This is the engine controls here, um, turning on and off there. It's got some Bose speakers everywhere. It's really nice. The sound system's really good. Um, up here is your weather radar. Uh, and then over here you have your speedometers and your, your speedos and your, your uh, wind gauges and, and uh, your depth finder. Um, there is the radar, so it works so far. One thing that's pretty nice is it is nice and cool in here. The air conditioner works really well. Uh, and it's an AC reverse cycle, so it'll heat also. I think you have to have 110 for that or the generator on. But I, I do have a little generator I'm going to bring. So, you know, it'll be nice to kind of have air conditioning every now and then. Over here is your uh, electrical control panel. And you got another tool, another uh, depth finder there. It's kind of handy if you're in, inside. Um, and then. Your radios there. This one is for audio, and it's really cool because it, it'll do Bluetooth. And um, it's got these really neat um, LED lights everywhere. You can change the colors from you know whatever color you want. So if it's a night and you want to be able to see. Here is your grill oven. Uh, this is the refrigerator here. It's a good size. It's got like a cold plate back in there if you can kind of see it. So that's it. Lots of storage here, actually. I was kind of impressed. There's, there's, there's lots of storage there, and down there, over here is more storage. Over there is more storage, and of course, all these floorboards come up, and there's even more storage. Uh, so this is a little quarter berth. Um, you can sleep too here. It really is. I think you could easily sleep too there. I, I mean, it, you'd have to be cozy, <laughs> but uh, you know, on a sailboat, you need to be cozy because basically, if, if there's any more than one person living here, you have almost no privacy. Uh, so you have to be good friends and or whatever you're doing and then just the couch space here is really nice So more storage back here uh, Nice flat screen TV you have your Bose surround system there um, And in some pretty good shape well, storage everywhere uh, So here is the forward V berth You know another two people can sleep here and here is the head so you have your head done there. You can either flush it to the toilet, to the, it's got a holding tank in the front, or it goes, if you're out at sea, you flush it straight out to the ocean. So uh, obviously it's a little tight in here, but here's your shower head. You just hook it right up here, Oop, and I'm getting wet. Anyway, so take a shower, whatever you want to do. All right, say hi, Captain Scott. Hi, Captain Scott. <laughs> He's taking us on the little shakedown tour here. First sail. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I, I plan on going all the way down and then maybe Trinidad for hurricane season, come back up and go through Panama and around. Yeah. 
Well, just keep going. If you're already down at Trinidad, just go up north to Central America. South, the, south the coast of South America is beautiful. And yeah, there's nothing to worry about there. I mean, well, you got to worry anywhere in the world, but yeah, there's uh, and just check Noon Site is a great website for uh, you know everything. It's mainly piracy, but yeah, it'll show you the places that are hot spots. Pulled up. How would you recommend getting from here to there? Uh. Well, it just depends on the time of year. Go in November, yeah. like November the 1st, and go in a weak front or just after the passage of a strong front uh -huh. uh, if you want to sail across. Otherwise, uh, plan on doing it inshore. Yeah. Uh, I would suggest uh, not doing the part from here to New Orleans, doing as much of that offshore as possible because okay. there's just a lot of traffic Okay. and uh, locks, bridges, and it's not all that beautiful. Right. But, then when you get past that, uh, the commercial traffic almost goes away, yeah. and you can go inshore in the intercoastal, you know, day hops. Or, but still, I mean, offshore, even in the rigs, it's not the nightmare that people envision. It's you do fine, especially yeah. with radar. You have no worries. That was that was the only thing I was worried about. Is, you know, go offshore rigs when at you night. can get yeah. in deep water. Uh, you have less to worry about, and uh, and don't be nervous. It's far more dangerous to be inshore with all those tugs, and yeah. you know, you're in shallow water and drawing six feet. Yeah. The intercoastal is going to be... Can be a bit of a... It's going to be... I mean, they keep it 12 feet down here, but you get to where it's not maintained as well. And right. It's six and a half feet is going to be tough. Yeah. I know there's certain areas that like are rabies free and they don't, uh, you know, they don't, they either quarantine your dog. I think like Jamaica does that. I mean, I'm not like Jamaica. Well, it's possible that they could quarantine your dog just about anywhere. Really? Um, and you hear horror stories about what is possible during a quarantine. But what I hear through the grapevine is what it usually is, is your dog is confined to your boat. Right. They won't, they don't take your dog away and force it to live in a facility. And you just, the dog can't come off. Or, I mean, I don't know. It's whatever they say. Okay. And it's, and I, I have to believe that some of that is up to the officer. Right. And, uh, you know, so the nicer you can be with everybody, the better. And if you have all your paperwork in order, it's going to be hard for them to really give you much. Right? If you've got it all, you can just keep, keep it in the paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I just, I got, I was talking to a, a pet really relocation company here today. I was just like, uh -huh. you know, do you have paperwork? Like, yeah, we can do it for like $1,500. Like, no, nah. I think I'll do it myself. Not necessary. And if it, lots of people cruise with dogs, uh, if it were a problem, a serious problem, you would hear more about it, I feel like. You just, you don't hear people very often talking about what a nightmare it was. You hear people saying, wow, the Bahamas is very strict, but yeah, nobody's saying, oh, you know, they took my dog away from me. Yeah. 
about the worst I've heard is like people want to go to Australia, they don't do it just because they do quarantine for like two or three weeks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that like could be. I'm, I'm just thinking of Caribbean, Australia. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, Bahamas. Yeah. 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 Yeah.